crispy gouji is a treat I've only had in Hawaii. It's basically, it's a dumpling. Gouji in Chinese means dumpling. If you ask for a crispy gouji on the mainland, they're going to give you one of two things. They'll either give you a pot sticker, which is fine, it's pan fried on the bottom but steamed on the top. Not the same thing. Or they'll give you a fried wonton, which doesn't have enough meat in it. You need to have more meat. You need to have the crispy wrapper, and the only place I've ever been able to find that is Hawaii. So every time I come back to Hawaii, I have a crispy gouji orgy. I eat crispy gouji from day one to day 45 until I leave. And so we are going to show you some of the best places to get crispy gouji in Hawaii. We're going to show you what a crispy gouji is, and you can try them yourself when you get here. behind the first two and then last I would put the Honolulu Kitchen Gouji. I would say the Honolulu Kitchen Gouji really wasn't impressive at all. It was kind of floppy and uh, and the filling wasn't anything remarkable. So that's my ranking of the Crispy Gouji. We're in front of Honolulu Kitchen in Waipahu. Honolulu Kitchen is known for the various types of Chinese food and dim sum they have. Hawaii has a lot of fast food type Chinese places that are very different than what you'll see on the mainland. The Hawaiian Chinese food is, is a different style of food. You'll, you'll see when we get it. They also make a really good crispy gouji. Okay, now I have a crispy gouji from Honolulu Kitchen in Waipahu. Um, they are actually known for having decent crispy gouji, so I'm looking forward to this. Every time I come back to Hawaii, I'm looking for crispy gouji because Every place I've lived on the mainland, you order a crispy gouji, they give you a pot sticker, or they give you a fried wonton, and that's not what this is. So let's give it a taste. That's good, but I wouldn't rave about it. I think there are others that are better on the island, but that's, yeah. that's a good crispy gouji. I wouldn't go out of my way to get that. Mm. I would go out of my way to get their manapua. Mm. Their manapua was quite good, the baked one in particular. Now, Waimalu chop suey, which everyone says is the best, all my friends say that anyway, uh, I don't agree. I think they have way too much filling in it. Now, they're tasty, the wrapper is crispy, the filling is good, but I think there's just way too much meat in there to make for a good balanced gouji. So that would have to come in number three. We're in Waimalu Shopping Center. Now, Waimalu Shopping Center over the years has become a nirvana for all kinds of really good local cuisines. They have all kinds of different food places. We're here in front of Waimalu Chop Suey. Waimalu Chop Suey is one of your typical Hawaiian chop suey type places. They have all kinds of different Chinese foods. What we're here for is their crispy gouji. They are known for having some of the best crispy gouji on the island. Their crispy gouji is really thick. There's a lot of meat in it. The wrapper is good and crispy like it's supposed to be. It is considered by some to be the best crispy gouji on the island. So a lot of my friends say that the Waimalu Chop Suey Crispy Gouji is the best on the island. The reason they say that is, look at this. Look at how much meat there is, how much filling there is in the crispy gouji. And you can take maybe two or three of these and they're an entire meal. It's about as much meat as an entire hamburger. And they're usually filled with chopped pork and shrimp and water chestnuts and vegetables of various kinds. So this certainly is a lot. So let's, um, you gotta dip it in the mustard and soy sauce. The mustard choy sauce, that is a classic for all Hawaiian crispy gouji and most Hawaiian Chinese food of any kind. The wrapper is crisp, that, um, that always is good on a crispy gouji. The filling is really tasty. It's well seasoned. It's it's a good filling. It's a good wrapper. I can see why people think this is the best, especially if they want a really substantial crispy gouji. This is very substantial. The problem with this for me is that there's too much filling to wrapper ratio. I like to have a nice balance so you get maybe just a little bit more filling than wrapper when you bite into it. Here you get a little bit of wrapper and a whole lot of filling. It's tasty, it's good, but I'd rather have less filling, honestly, even though, you know, a, a lot of filling is what people like about this one. 
Anyway, that's my thought. Two or three of these and I'm full. But this is good, but it's not the best. Uh, number two behind that, I would say Chunwa Cam has a good overall balance. Their wrapper was not as crispy, and that's why Chunwa Cam comes in number two. But it's definitely also a good crispy gouging. We are standing in front of Chunwa Cam. Now, Chunwa Cam is like the Panda Express of the Hawaiian Islands, except that Panda Express sucks. And for those of you who don't agree that Panda Express sucks, you're wrong. Chunwa Cam's better than that. You get good, inexpensive Chinese food here, and it's uh, more of a local Hawaiian-style Chinese food. This Chunwa Cam is in the mecca of food places on western Oahu, Waimalu Shopping Center, but they also have one in uh, Kapiolani near Ala Moana and one in Kalihi. So let's go in, let's see what they got, and then uh, let's get something good to eat. We are at Blaisdell Park, just around the corner from Chunwa Cam, to munch on our Chun Chunwa Cam goodies that we got. Here we have a crispy gouji that I got from Chunwa Cam. I tend to like their crispy gouji. The reason I, I like theirs as opposed to some of the others I think they have a good ratio of meat to crispy wrapper. Um, I think it's really important with the crispy gougie that you get uh, a gougie that's not overstuffed and that you just have enough meat and enough wrapper and you get a little bit of both in your bite. Okay, their filling's a little sol more solid than some of the other fillings we've seen. Um, it looks like it's, again, pork, shrimp, got some water chestnut in it. Always dip it in the mustard choy. That's that's a must here. That's a good crispy gouji. It's very savory. The noodles very crispy. The inside tastes great. It's good. Good crispy gouji. It's one of my favorites on the island. I actually am a little surprised that I liked roast duck kitchen so much. I've known about it for years. It's just down the hill, and I hadn't been there much before. Their crispy gouji absolutely was the best. It was really well balanced, super crispy wrapper, and the filling was delicious, and just enough of it, not too much. We're in front of the Roast Duck Kitchen on the second floor of the IAS Shopping Center. It's in the back here. It's not really well known for anybody except the locals. The locals know this is the place to come if you like roast duck, if you like char siu, and if you like uh, roast pork, crispy chicken, and particularly their crispy gouji are supposed to be really good. So I placed an order. You've got to place your order in advance. I placed mine today for tomorrow because if you don't place an order in advance, they're going to be out of it by the time you show up. So order it, come get it. You want good crispy gouji, you want good roast duck, you want good char siu, this is the place. So Roast Duck Kitchen gives you an order of 10 gouji for $9.50. They are known for having some of the better gouji on the island. I like this one. It's uh, The wrapper is perfectly crispy. The interior, it looks like it's got a lot of meat in it. I've never tasted from them before, so this is my chance. Mmm. That's good. The wrapper is really crispy. The meat has a nice flavor and there's enough meat to make a, a significant gougie, but not so much that it overwhelms the whole taste. It's actually a very nice flavor. I would rank this right up there with the top gougie on the island. If you like what we've been showing you about Hawaii and you want to know more about hidden trails, hidden beaches, restaurants that not a lot of people know about, Please subscribe. If you really like these videos, give us a thumbs up.